have a queen in the kitchen. Hello. It's salt water, we help take off the runs. Yeah, but then wash the salt water already for me. Put it in the mix with salt and it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, hello, Sally. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, let me get something big. We're not the only so someone who gets prevented from. You see, this arm um, is too wet. See? Mm -hmm. Them. Oh, Facebook mm -hmm. Well, hello everybody. Queen I live in the kitchen. Queen I live in the kitchen. I'm making some um I'm making some food here, but first I'm going to introduce to you who is here with me in my house. I'm here so Miguel passed you to look for me. So you know when I have visitor come here to look for me, I have to give them something to eat. And then Queen Olive likes to cook everything right in front of her her divas and her dan that come so miguel samuel is here and he's gonna say hi you could all say hi to him see him over there hello people just say say hello people hello how are you doing Sweet. Well, hello, 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 everybody. If you, when you doing this and you read comment, you don't reach no way. Anyway, I just came by to see Miss Olive, just passing through, you know. Well, hello, everybody. Miguel come to pass by to say to pick up something, so. I decided to give him some food, so I'm just making something very simple. Yes, yeah, she makes something nice, you know. You don't know Miss Olive always a cook. Yeah. They can yeah, easy. Still have love and respect for Miss Olive because when I was sick, she used to bring me food in the hospital, so I got to remember where I'm coming from. Yeah, so she's a good lady, you know, in real life. Yep. So over there here, just go and enjoy. I think she makes sorrel. Nice, good sorrel. Yeah. Well, everybody, everybody, you know, Miss Sorrel. Yeah, they're hearing me. You know, everybody, um, Miss Olive always telling me when to cook in. She always have a wet rub. Yes, um, right here now, this is Miss Olive right here, Queen Olive in the kitchen. Yes, and what I'm making right now, I'm making some candies yam and some fried fish. Because Miguel is here, so you know, when you have a stranger come around here, you give them something to eat. Some first to come in, so that enter in your house is a blessing. And you give them something to drink, offer them something. But Miguel... It, Ears is look like he's not hearing me when I talk to him for ever since him I he came in here <laughs> I had some oatmeal porridge that I made but I asked him but apparently didn't hear Yeah, we never hear you sorry and about then that. I asked him if he needs some sorrow but I have to speak in loud loud for him to hear. Yes, so, I'm not bad. <laughs> so right now we went to the store, we went to the store and buy the fish, we buy it fresh and nice. I buy some shark. And we fillet the shark and we're gonna fry the shark. So right here is the shark in the um okay. Oh you wanna turn it on? Let me turn it on. Yeah. Press the camera. yeah. Right here, there is a shark. This is it right here. So I washed it and I seasoned it. I put some of my jerk season powder on it. My jerk season sauce, the one that I made from scratch, I put it in there, put it to soak away in the water. First, when I wash it, I wash it with um, salt with water because, as I say, I tell everybody I do not use the lemon and I do not use the vinegar. So right here, it is in the water soaking down right now. So when you're ready to fry it, and I'm going to make some. And here is the flour that I have here ready for it to go in the flour right here. 
we're gonna dip it in the flour and we're gonna fry it that's um the, the, the flour to hold it make it doesn't hard because if you fry it just like that it's gonna get hard so we don't want it to hard so we have to use a flour butter and it for it to um to, okay jen jen live from jamaica big up yourself jen jen live from jamaica yeah so we have this over here and i'm making some candies yam here is a candies yam i'm gonna show you taking off this i'm gonna show you the candies yam now okay yes so there's a pot there on the fire well, over there is the candies yam in the pot. I'm making some candies yam. We're making American quick food. You know, when we're cooking, we have to do something small. So there we do. We peel the potato. We call it, um, it's a potato, but we but they call it candy yam in America. This is the potato right here. Potato. Yeah. So I peeled it and I washed it and I have it right here on the fire. We're going to put it on the fire. It doesn't start it as yet. It doesn't take long. I'm going to, um, I peeled it, I washed it, I put it in a little water with sugar, um, some nutmeg and some spice, cinnamon spice and sugar and a little garlic and we put it on the fire and it's going to boil for like about 15 minutes because you know it's this easily cooked so when we when we finish boil it now then we're going to put some some um milk and put it in the oven for another 10 minutes so we're going to go for like so 20 minutes because it's cooked very quick and it's candy yam they we we, we use the candy yam by buying the one in the can i am not using the can one. Oh, okay we put some little salt in there i'm not using the can one i'm using this thing okay so right here is the pot where i'm gonna fry the i'm gonna fry the fish because i have to put the pot on the fire here to fry the fish also there i have some, some porridge over there that i make for my breakfast this morning so i'm gonna turn the stove on right now yeah yeah so so everybody say hi miguel they're saying hi to miguel so Miguel in the house, so I'm making, and then I'm going to make some sweet corn. Here is the corn in the pot right here. Yeah, I have corn right here. And what about the corn for another 15 minutes? Because this corn here, you can just put it in a microwave. So I'm going to put it on the pot over here, on the fire over here. So we have two fire on right here. The corn, the corn, and the candies yam. And over here we have the fish. We we're going to do the fish so right now we are paying attention to the pot right stay there yeah candy's yam lady from scratch queen olive is making everything she do she do it from scratch so i'm making something for miguel to eat before he go back home to where he lives so while we're there waiting on it we're gonna do a little chit chat about some things what is really We're gonna do a little chit chat about something that is going on. Let me, let me touch it. Okay. So that's the, the fire over there. Yeah. 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 So you get a good view now of my kitchen. So Hello, people. If you read, you cannot do a live. When hmm? you're doing a live, if you, if you read, you cannot do a live. You have to do your live and don't read. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, I mean, that's when I watch you for my, for my... Yeah. So, Miguel is in front of the camera now. So, anybody want to ask Miguel a question? How he feeling or what happened and how you know Miss Olive? And they want to know the reason why he came here. You could ask him all the questions. He's <laughs> right in front of you to answer any question you want. But right now, I am in the kitchen and I'm cooking candies yam, sweet corn, and we're gonna fry some fish so Miguel could get something to eat before he go back to his home. Queen Olive in a kitchen, nice clean kitchen, clean. Miguel, tell him about Miss Olive. You met Miss Olive when you come to Miss Olive house, and how Miss Olive house is clean. And it's when some people talk about dirty, tell them you come to a clean place. Just like everybody say, when they see me, they're a totally different person they see from what they see on the Facebook. The Facebook, Give you a ugly look. So, my candy jam is. Right. I, I turn on it. 
you press the camera and turn it around? And yeah, press the camera and it turn to you. Yeah. Yeah, that. people. Today I miss Olive, you know, passing through and just. Is there any question you know, I ask? You know, free to ask. <laughs> Why you're at Miss Olive House? What is the reason why you go there? <laughs> <laughs> why is it just when you're coming from your little scissor? Where are you coming from? Well, I'm feeling much better now. Yeah, not too bad. As I came from treatment this morning, because I went to do my dialysis treatment, because you know I have kidney failure, you know? And when I was sick and in the hospital, Miss Olive and Gullivap, they came to look for me, so... And Ashanti, tell them Ashanti too. And Ashanti 360. Yeah, because you're not in Yeah, so... You know, you have to remember where the goodness is coming from, you know? Yeah. And forever since, me and I are always keeping in touch, you know? Yeah. So really and truly... Miss Olive is a good lady, nice clean lady, her house clean, yeah, everything clean, see? Yeah. yeah, man, God is good all the time. They always say back home in Jamaica, one of dead dog call it doppy. Mm -hmm. So I am still here. I mean, I really can't see that good enough, so that's why I have to be close up in the phone like this. Yeah, so I just there just to go and wait on the good food you have to done cook. I don't you know Miss Olive food. Very always tasting good. Yeah, and she gave me some sorrel too, and the sorrel tastes like back home sorrel. So God is good all the time. You know, when you have good people in life, you have to just keep them in your corners. Because it's not really hard. It's not very hard to find good people out there. So when you find good people, you have to treat them good and stick by them. Okay, no problem. Yeah, no matter what nobody want to say out there, that now going to come between me and Miss Olive, you know, because at the end of the day, I remember the goodness, what she did for me. So, we just they say there, just one love and unity. And may just ask Father God for more strength, more life, and more prosperity. Nobody is not perfect. Yeah, man. So, God is good all the time. I may have some bush. I have some bush meds at home too, you know. Yeah, I have some meringue. Cersei. Sour sap leaf. The next one here, Guinea and weed. Yeah, I have all them great bushes I can drink. Yeah. So, God is, God is good all the time. It's a little bit turning back for you. Okay, I'm here just making a, a little salad. You know, you know, Miss Olive like to do our decoration, so <clears throat> I'm here making a little salad right here to eat without food because as I say, what we're doing, it's not going to take long and Miss Olive moves very fast. So instead of sitting here and waiting for the food to cook, I just continue to do something. Yep, we're doing some salad, some 
some vegetables and all them things. Yep. Olive is the best when it comes to cooking. I love to cook. That's my bigger name. When I cook, I'm the happiest person. I'm the face of the earth when I cook. Pepper, give the food flavor. <laughs> yeah, when I cook, I'm the most happiest person. Remember when you go to the store to buy your, your vegetables and your fruits? Wash everything before you put it in your refrigerator. You don't know where these people coming from, who's hand touch it and stuff. So at all time, keep your food wash and clean and keep your yep. area surrounded clean which is the vegetable we're going to eat with the fish yep 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 so this is right here okay so there we go i'm going to start it to fry my fish now so we're going to get some napkin and we're gonna dry the fish because we have to um, dry them before put them in the flour. So if anybody over there can see me and what they're saying, Nigel. Yeah, um, and Nicolette, um, something in my area, sister, yeah. Miss, yes, Miss Olive. Mm -hmm. So we put it dry right here, so we um, <laughs> we dry it. We're gonna dry it because if we don't I dry want it, that, it's, if the flour um, is gonna be too clammy in it, so we dry it right here. And we're going to put something there. Remember, ladies, divas, and Dan, Queen Alice, and anybody come at her home, and she's going to give them food. I cook the food right in front of them. I do not cook, have the food here put down, because I want them to see how I do my cooking, because, you know, some people are funny. And then, you know, some people talk well, about the stuff. Well, and Miss Ali, Miss Ali can cook food and put it down for me anytime, because I just me eat for her, no, no, no sickness, nothing. So me just her cooking. Huh? <coughs> yes, so we make that little food dish there we're gonna eat also. Mm -hmm. And and while while up the um this this is here cooking right now, I'm gonna turn the oven on because we're gonna put it in the oven for a little ten minutes. So we're gonna put the oven and we're gonna put the oven on. Start. So it doesn't take long. Nothing here I'm doing taking long. Everything here is quick cooking. Yes, so Queen Ali don't have no time to stop nobody. No time to stop nobody. And I have a message for my divas them to give Nikki Stevenson. This girl named Nikki Stevenson who keep coming on the line and talking all kind of things about me. I'm asking her to just hop off my back because what she's talking, it doesn't make no sense. To me, it's like she's looking for somebody. She's going to say we are stalking, but... We are stalking. I'm stopping back. I don't care who else you want to say stalking back. Why should I stop back? And why should Bob stop me? Lady, think before you talk. Because this is what she's saying. And there, she wants Bob to come to Canada that she may kale juice and give back to Bob next strong. So right there, you see, she's looking for somebody. Mm -hmm. She's looking for somebody. Nikki Stevenson. Anywhere you're at. Nikki Stevenson, you are the one who's talking back. Because how could you say Queen Olive talking back when I am not stalking that man? You understand me? Bob will always talk with Queen Olive. Always. Because when Bob was here in my house, is all the same people there disencourage Bob from here. And here Bob said, Bob said, Olive, you're a good woman. You're the best thing ever happened, ever been in my life. The best thing. No one else. So Nikki Stevenson, all the way from Canada, you want to give Bob kale juice. You want to poison Bob. You're talking about we stalking. You are stalking because everything is only you alone on my page putting down disrespectful thing about me. Mm -hmm. Stop it. It doesn't work. Stop it. Because uh, you're going to go to Bob and talk disrespectful thing about me. He's going to run you. Remember that. He don't want the kale juice or nothing from you. Because it says here, look, a man. <laughs> it's a man. She look. She's not going to get nothing from Bob. Nothing. Bob is going to run you. Remember that. I am a good person. Nobody don't have to tell me that. Verona. Yeah. Nobody don't have to tell me what kind of person. I, I know I'm a good person. So, when you coming up on top about I'm stalking, 
But you are stalking back. He don't want you, lady. Furthermore, you from Canada. You cannot cook Jamaican food. You cannot cook the food that him want. And you cannot pick bird for him to roast. She says so, she not see her face, Nicolette. I know. She's not seeing my face because I'm um, like that. So she's so seeing her face. Nicolette, what a pink. You know Nicolette, that person? Yeah, that? man. She's a good girl. Hi, Nicolette. Yeah. So when you talk, on the talk, on the talk, on the talk, talk, right? And there's another one who said, my house is like a storage. Yes, I have to store my thing because you don't stop calling and beg me my thing. Let me get her name. I have the right <laughs> Yeah? Good afternoon, Verona. This is Miguel. I'm over here by Miss Alice. Queen Alice. I am here. Yeah, this one named Pretty Girl. Pretty Gala. Pretty Gala. Why my house is why my house is a storage pretty gala? It's because me have a, every when I go me have to buy things for store for going because I like call and beg. So me have to take my house down storage for helping out when I started to beg. So on the most mine on the own business. I do whatever I do in my house. So what an attack? No an attack, say. I wanna near Andy. That's so much I them have. Mm, Andy mm -hmm. and Nikki Stevenson. Bob no one no no no. Bob is married and happily married with his wife. And Amari 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 me tired I talk to you know heavy tongue woman, big <laughs> tongue woman, alligator woman, Josie Whale, everything in the in the books that man is about you. Amari. Stop calling people name. Go get a life. You say you're a singer. And you are Scientology. <coughs> you are Scientology. If you are Scientology, I don't know where you get the word from. Go look into the dictionary and find out the meaning of the word. You're not supposed to be troubling people or bothering people. Every day you get up and you take Satan Queen Olive. What you take taking Satan Queen Olive for? It's not going to make you no better. It's going to make you worse. Because you used to have a whole lot of people. The people I'm tired of hearing you talk about Queen Olive. The other day, you was getting people watching you. The people them stop watching you now because you're going back on Queen Olive name again. Stop call Queen Olive name. You make, you make me spink over there. Kill herself, kill her. Yeah. Stop <laughs> calling Queen Olive name. Stop calling Queen Olive name. You're not getting no better. Amari Gold, get a life. You see what you do? The other day, you go, you go, you go into the, 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 um, the, the studio, go make yourself an ass and sleep with all the men them in the studio. And when you finish sleeping with them, you turn around and say, they, they, um, uh, you're not paying them because they, they're not doing the music good. It's not music good because them sleep with them and say, it's a slime pit. Leave Queen Olive alone. They talk to them. Um, Tansy Jones, leave me alone, pretty girl. Me not send the things them where you beg me again because you're too bright and I talk about my house and storage. After you not beg me things that me have to walk all about forget the things and store go now. Nikki Stevenson, um, Bop no want no kill juice. Bop no drink nothing away no no. He no eat nothing away no no. And the only woman Bop eat from in the, from, from different from his mother. Is Queen Olive and who did the monks? The lady when live monks and we are take care of him. But let me tell you something. A man you look Nikki. <laughs> and I waste you waste all your precious time for looking back. Because back with done you. But no care who in done. You understand? He don't care who on earth he done. So just come off of my name. Yes, I'm in the pot story, the pot with the um the, the um candy, the yam, the potato. Yeah, easily cook. You don't have to cook it for for the whole day. It's easy cook, and then you put it in the oven and finish it up, and you have something ready to eat. Go learn to cook, Nikki. Go learn to cook, pretty girl. Go and wash your little cunt, cause you don't you have it dirty. <laughs> because the time when you're supposed to take care of yourself, or you're taking you know minding other people's business. I mean, I know when you ever start, but fuck, nobody cannot stop me from talking about. And if 
Me should not want to talk to Bob because Bob disrespect me. I shouldn't want to talk to him and I still talk to him because I have a forgiveness heart. And I'm a person who easily forgives people because my heart is too small to hold envy in my heart. So, all he want to talk, talk on a free. But me know my heart is clean and pure to Almighty God. Just like I'm doing my cooking. That's how my heart is. Yeah? I don't know want to come from some miserable. <laughs> when I have nothing to do, <clears throat> nothing about myself and nothing to do. <laughs> you know, so I start misery. Them just, no, the whole set of thing going on on the, the computer. So they have to be in it. With the whole set of drama and all them things, who cursing people. I am not into it with enough. Yeah, they are putting in my, my fish. But I'm fine, my fish. This is shark. You could see me on it. You mm -hmm. could see me. You could see me. You hold it to the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fry my shark. We 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 are from Jamaica. The people will say they don't eat shark, but it's a lovely meat, and I love it more than fish because, I, as I say, I don't like light fish, and you fry, it, and it's very good. So I'm frying some shark, and I have in some some candy yam on the stove and some sweet corn. So we are going the American little way we are doing now. So we have to, we can do Jamaican food only. This is the American food, yeah? So, let me put this on it. See, I'm not gonna fry it all. And then get these ready with the flour. So when I'm ready to take out those, uh, these are already uh, flour and ready here. Yes, when my stove, when I'm cooking and my stove get hot, we get the fan to take away the heat, yeah? So people, this is Queen Olive in her kitchen. I have an island in my cook kitchen I could cook. I am a no head count. So people who can sit down, who want to sit down, and worry about me, worry what I'm doing, worry who I'm stalking, go worry all about your own self. When you need to get in your life, clean up, clean your life up, and other people's life. Anything people want to do in your life, that's their business and your fastest. Remember I said cooking is an art and cleansiness is next to godliness. Each time you cook, you're clean. Huh? Yeah, each time you cook, you're clean. You worry about people's business. Look at my stove. Look at my kitchen. Look how my place is clean. And you're not talking about me. Yes, the pot, the fire has to be up under the pot. The fire has to be up under the pot. To cook, so this is right here. It's my baking container where I'm gonna put my potato in. So I'm gonna put a little milk with some nutmeg over it and put it in the oven for another 10 minutes. And then we're ready because the candy are already ready cooked. So here I go in my refrigerator and I take out my can of milk and I'm gonna put it in here. Remember, I said. Everybody, everybody who has a kitchen, get a spray hose. You could hold, bring this hose down, spray. If the fire come on and you want to move fast, you spray the hose over there. Get a spray hose for your kitchen. Then put in the milk. Yeah. What kind of milk that you use? Is regular evaporated? Yeah, very regular evaporated milk. And I'm going to put some nutmeg in there. Some nutmeg, a little sprinkle of sugar, a little handful of sugar. Yeah. And we're going to put the potato in and we're going to put it in our oven. Yes. And we're going to make it stay there for only 10 minutes. A little dash of salt. Yes. Yes. A little dash of salt. So the potato is ready, cooked and ready, and ready. Nice meal. You know that's the potato already. Yes, they're ready. Yeah. Turn the stove off. Yeah. Potato is ready. We're gonna put it in the oven. Yeah. So we are going through very fastly. We are cooking. Miguel is gonna eat, and also he's gonna take some home with him when he's going home. Okay. My grand grand, they love these food. This is the food they love. 
So I always cook the food that my grandchildren they love. So we're gonna show also we're gonna show oh this place smells like a real, mm -hmm. real fresh cooked um yeah. fish market. <laughs> yeah, it smells so good, I'm telling you. When you can cook, you can bless. Anything at all you cook, you are very well blessed. Yes, so as I hear I said, I use my tongue. These are the tongues that I use to do my thing. So I open it right there. I wipe it off because I don't want the water to be splashing. If you want water, you can hold it up to them. Yeah, so there are the fish there, fry nicely. When I make the butter for the fish, it's flour and I season it. Yeah. Turn it over, it's nicely and fresh. Mm -hmm. It's not burned nicely and fresh. Fry it right there. And this. Okay, this is it. This is the potato. So I'm putting the let the milk go all, all over the potato. And then I'm gonna put it in my oval. It smells good too. Yeah. My oven for 10 minutes in the oven. And then we take it out. We're ready to eat. And we have the taster here, which is Miguel. So you will know if it tastes good. And that's what Queen Alice says it's tasting good because it's not everything she says is true sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we don't want nobody to say, oh Lord, this food tastes nice, they're not it. So they all all, all is in the oven. Here's my oven. My oven nice and clean. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put it right in there and it's going to be in there like about 15 20 minutes. Yes, and then we have our corn over here now. The corn is on the fire right there, it's cooking. You know, corn doesn't take a long time, so we're doing the corn and we have some more fish to put in there over there. So, apparently, we're going to find space to put the fish because he's already almost right. So, we could put them to the side and but you know, shark have to take a little time. It doesn't cook down like one, two, three. It's got to fry good, you know. It's not going to hurt the belly because, you know, fishermen, that, 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 they at the um, sea. And what happened, they get stranded out there. They have to find something. Yeah, this is Queen Olive in her kitchen. And Miguel comes to look for me, so I'm getting something ready for Miguel to eat. Because when people come around me, I want you to know they have something to eat and they're okay and I like to cook it from scratch. I know you was coming from yesterday, but you know, I'm busy up and down trying to prepare my thing for my party. Everybody know my party is coming up in June 16 will be my party and I'm gonna have a wonderful time. Not in my party, my celebration. I got my relatives and my friends are flying out to come to my party, which I know I'm gonna have a wonderful, wonderful time. It's when we reach a certain age in life and we decide to celebrate our party, it's not for sale. So everybody, again, my party is free to enter, free to drink, free for food because I'm celebrating my sixth year of living on this earth and celebrating and getting off some of these people who is on my back. Although we cannot stop that because cele celebrity get the most criticism. So I put myself in that arm. Um, that, that, that predicament. I'm a, I'm a little celebrity myself, so they have to criticize Queen Olive because Queen Olive is doing very good and they don't like it. So all the people who walks around and talks about me, it is good because you're building up my self-esteem, you're building me up, let me feel like I'm somebody who worthy to be living in this world because if I were worthy to be living, they wouldn't be calling my name. They sit at the dinner table, Queen Olive, they go to their bed, Queen Olive, they never say, Father God, I ask you to put me to my bed and to wake me up in the morning, it's Queen Olive. You don't hear what Queen Olive, look at the phone. I don't know you about Queen Olive. Look for now when I have myself and I big nose. Oh, Lord, I love this nose here. I love it. Yes. Yes. People, you know when you're on the computer, when the computer is on, and you know thousands of people watching you because it's not one, two, three. When you see said 40 people, thousands of people, they are watching you. You get a little nervous, a little edgy, you've been itching your face, you've been itching, you've been doing things. So, you know, people talk a lot of things. Some people don't have no pride, nothing about themselves. Some of these people, the things they talk, 
people remember me telling you that everybody wants to eat from you are not supposed to eat from every and everybody the things that people say do not eat from every and everybody people do the dirtiest of things the nastiest of things and think it is okay it is not okay don't eat from every and everybody because these people who talk about all these nasty stuff do not go to people's house and eat. First you come in to check the bathroom. The first thing you go, the first thing you do when you go to somebody and ask them, you want to use the bathroom. And the bathroom will tell you what kind of person they are. Because it is, if the going in the bathroom is not immaculate, immaculate means clean. That means say you don't want to eat nothing mm -hmm. because your bathroom is supposed to be one of the cleanest thing in your house and then your kitchen. Every time you use your wash, you go to the market, you buy your food stuff, please ladies and beavers and gentlemen and then wash it. I pass some of these food stores, these green grocery stores and the thing fall and going out some dirty mucky water. What they do, they take them up and put them right back there. That's why a lot of people got so many sickness and people don't know what is the cause of it. And remember, ladies, divas, and then most of these ladies that stay home and do not work, they are the more that they they those ladies are the most lady who slept around with all slept around with the mailman, the serviceman, and all thing like that. Be careful of your wife what they do because 95% of these aids that's going around is mostly wife bring it in and their husband get it and they take it out or their mm -hmm. husband bring it to them and the wife take it out. Be careful. Every time that you're going to have sex with your loved one and you feel like something goes wrong, take out your shield. There is no warrior war without shield. Take care of yourself because that we easily get any sickness, easily get it, but it's hard to cure. Just like to go to jail, in one, two, three step you reach in jail, and it's hard for you to get out. People, be careful. And then I said, be careful of the things that you wish on other people, because sometimes you wish bad on other people, and it's come back to haunt you. Let me say it before you. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah people they over miss olive making some meal yeah and i know it's smelling awesome already so no problem yeah man so god is good god is great all the time And remember, I tell you, um, divas and dan, do not wait until you hear that somebody is coming to your house. You run to clean. Your house must clean at all times. Clean, clean, clean house. Your house must clean at all times. Don't wait until you hear Mary coming or Jane or Tom. You run to clean. Your house must clean at all times. You clean your house. Okay. All of these plates, they have been washed and put away. But remember, we can have little roaches, we can have rat, we can have any kind of insect run around the house. Because remember, we was going through winter, and now it's summer, the time getting hot. So all these insects, they're going to find themselves from all where they are, crawling around the place. I'm not saying I have roach and rat. If I have roach and rat, I'm going to tell you, because I know what to use to get rid of them. Because I, I'm not living by myself, I have people live at the top. The top floor, I have people live at the bottom floor. I clean, they don't have to clean. They can clean too, but we don't know what's coming up. You find them far the leg, all kind of little thing you find coming up in the place. So keep at all times, have your place clean. Every time you want to use a spoon, a fork, a glass, or something, wash it. Especially you have it there for a little while, put down, wash it. We don't want to get sick from doing some um, all kind of stuff around the place. So, I'm here putting these food in the pot very nicely and take it out and then make it nicely because sometimes the presentation of the food is so good. 
the presentation you see, sometimes you don't want to buy. But when you see the food, the presentation of the food, you want to buy, you want to eat. Yes. I have more there, but I'm, I don't think I want to fry no more. Remember, Queen Olive, buy this at the store and they fillet it for me. They do the fillet for me. Right? They do the fillet. They fillet it, cut it, take out the bone, and I just come home, washed it. I washed it with salt, soaking the salt for a little while. And then I washed it and put it to put it in the season to season. I put some water, black pepper, and I put seasoning salt, and I put some jerk seasoning, and I put that on it, and I make it stay for a little while. Then I decide ready to fry. And Miguel was here with me, so Miguel see, I went to the store and buy. I do not buy no preheat food. I buy the food from scratch, and I did it. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a little. Onion and let it onion and put it over it. Not let it cook. Oh, I don't have to do that. I got onion there, so I'm not gonna do the onion. Yes, I have some onion stuff there. I'm gonna put on it. So when it's finished, we put everything together and we take the pictures and we show it up what we have. And remember, each time you're cooking in anything you move, you put it back. Do not wait until you're finished. You put back all the stuff in the right perspective area. Yeah, the corn is the corn is ready also because remember this corn is not like the corn that we we have in Jamaica. Jamaica corn, I don't know why they are so hard. I don't know, but these corn are not hard. They are already cooked there. If it boil too much, it's going to be soft and eating nasty. We call, they call it nasty. Meat. So I'm just doing a little quick thing so Miguel could tell the people. He comes to the queen of the house and he gets some food to eat and he enjoy the food and enjoy himself. These are the flowers, I'm going to put it up here. So we try to take over it because as I say, we put things in our cupboard, the cupboard, shed it all thing because when you have a cupboard or uh, anything, nothing stay forever. Nothing stay forever, so we cover it because as soon as you put it in here, upstairs can walk and when upstairs walk, they trample and the dust come down. So. I'm going to put it like this, I'm going to put it right there. So, remember, clean as you cook. Clean as you cook. Yes, do this. Wash it. Put it away. So you don't have a lot of stuff in the way. Queen Olive is cooking candies, yam, fried fish, and sweet corn. So, me and Miguel could sit and eat and have a little chit chat. How his life how is doing and stuff. You know, sometimes people do make mistakes because, you know, Miguel was with me and he goes to other places and he's been disrespected. I am not going to dog him out. I'm not going to put him down to the lowest ground because he do that. Everybody make mistakes and he made his mistake more than once. But I think he now his mistake. You have to stick to the evil you know and stick to the people who you know. Because some people do things because they are looking for hype. I am not looking nothing for a hype. I am doing this cooking to show a lot of people who cannot cook or to teach a lot of people to do a little extras in their house. Turn your hand and make fashion. You could say you don't you don't have no no meat in your house and you want to cook. You could take take out from your sweet pepper, a tomato, um, a tomato, a cucumber, and all these things what you have. Put it on the fire, make it boil a little with, make it take a little um, boil with uh, some butter and you have some rice and you cook it down and eat it. Nobody don't know how to know that you didn't have no meat and you mm -hmm. eat it and enjoy it because the, the time you're going to go to your neighbor and ask your neighbor for to lend you a dollar or if they have any meat, it's going to be a tale a tale. Everything people put on the computer. So if you open your, you open your refrigerator, you find Irish potato. And you open it, you find carrot, and you find some sweet pepper, you find some tomato and some cucumber. You put it on, put a little seasoning over it, and it just take about um, 10 minutes, and you cook it down and cook some rice on, you are ready to go. You don't have to go to your neighbor. 
and you enjoy your food. Nobody didn't know you have no meat. And while you're cooking, these young people, when you're cooking, get off the phone. If you don't get off the phone, you're going to burn up your food. Your husband is going to be there. Your husband is going to leave you and go to somebody else. If you want your husband to say, give him the food because food is the start of your life. And so for a good woman and a good man, you have to cook your food for your husband and let your husband enjoy it. You know what is the bottle? The lady out the street and the lady out the street cook. Because by the time the lady out the street start cooking and giving him this food, he's going to start stick to that lady. He's going to go there more often. And he goes to the restaurant. The first thing they ask, who is the cook? Who is the cook? And mm -hmm. if the cook is a woman, they're going to like off the cook. So take care of your husband. Yeah. Don't let another woman take your husband away from you because you cannot cook. Yes, yeah, we are finished with this too. We don't. Patrick, did I hear you? Pick up yourself, Patrick. You know, live in the house cooking. Yes, so we are done there. Okay. So here. Here we go. So we're turning off all these stove. Turn off all this stove. And cleaning up. We clean after every cook. We clean. And the time is nice now, so what we do, we keep our our window open. Open up our window. So okay, if somebody has any other advocates, you want to answer them? Oh then go. Queen Ali finished cooking. I'm finished, I'm finished, I'm finished, I'm finished. This pot been beat up and buttered by probably the island go there. But remember, when you finish, just spray some bleach on it and rub it. Everything comes out clean and nice. That's what I do. So right here, we're going to put the, um, this thing. Hold on. Hello? Hello? <coughs> No, no, not living here. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so here we have right here. We were waiting our on our potato now to come out. When the potato come out, we we'll show everything. And as I say, this was cooked by Queen Olive. Not go to the store and rewarm nothing. I cook this from scratch. You have to learn, ladies. We have to learn to take care of our home, how to take care of your bedroom, bathroom, your kitchen, and what to cook. And what to cook and how to cook it and cook what you are doing clean. It doesn't it doesn't matter if you have some tall nails. Let me see. It doesn't matter if you have tall nails, it doesn't stop you from cook. Because each time you're washing your hand, whether you're cooking, you're cleaning or go to the bathroom, you have to wash your hand properly. You got to go in your nail with the other nail and clean out in your nail that you don't have nothing dirty in there. Anything could happen because mistake can go away. And as I say, if you buy good toilet paper, you don't have to worry about that. That's you're going to eat, you're going to go to the bathroom and something gets in your hand. This accident do happen. But lady, please, I'm telling you, stop call people names. Don't call people names because most of these people are calling people names. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, that's your daughter? Home. That's Kenny. Uh, I'm going to know Hello. Yeah. Yes. How are you, you doing? Are you in the bathroom? Yeah. Oh. And I'm then? Uh, Miguel. Miguel, I don't think I look like a singer, Miguel. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Yeah. Is your grandma? Then my mom. Oh, your mom. oh this your this Kenny. I was talking to. This is Kenny. Hello, I'm home. Today mm -hmm. you need to go to bathroom, you to bathroom. Bye, y'all. <laughs> yes, so we are waiting on this. Um, I didn't really check the time or how um, many time I put it right there. But we say it's already cooked. We just give, put, give it a little time. To be in there so i'm mm -hmm. gonna put some um i'm gonna put some of this on my my onion and stuff and my fish right there i'm not gonna put on all i'm just gonna put on a, a little pot because and remember when you have this thing here 
the pickle. Uh -huh. Do not put dirty things in the pickle. If you put dirty stuff in the pickle, it's going to spoil, it's going to get black. So I have this small one here for the pickle. So I'm going to rinse it before I put it there. The draw, the draw, the cupboard, everything. Where's Nazne? Nazne are watching. She loves this pickle. She lives <coughs> all the way from Florida to come get some of this Queen mm -hmm. Olive pickle. Remember your pickle not to be thin. What do you want, Kenny? Yeah, they don't fish too. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. I love fish. So <laughs> I put pickle and um, this pickle made from crutch. <laughs> Kenny say crutch. She <laughs> wants to say scratch. Yes, this pickle made with <laughs> carrot. Onion. Cho -cho, oh. onion and some pimento seed and I use the vinegar I let the vinegar boil up and then I put it in there and then I, tu I turned off the stove because if yeah, we Patrick, boil it, do. Hey Patrick, if we boil I it, can't. it's gonna get too saggy. We don't want nothing to eat saggy. We want when we're eating, eat it chewy and nice. Ladies, divas and then food is an art. It is an art. We have to cook the right way and we have to keep our surrounding clean. We have to share our love with other people because there's I'm kind of doing this right here and I'm not doing it the right way. Somebody could come and tell me, well, um, Queen Ali, no. I don't I think you missed something from there and I would say, Okay, what is it? If I don't miss nothing, I say, Well, that's the way I am doing my stuff. So there's my fish over there. And as you see, I have a counter so I can go round and round my counter. Round, so my yeah, stove yeah. over there. Oh. And my area is always been clean. You know, those. Hello, Tanya Light. Okay, those are your friends. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so. for me. I mean, mm -hmm. Kenny. No. Why are you doing something? You know, son. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 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 Yeah, so I'm going to get some of my um, candies yam and I'm going to share a plate for Miguel. Yes, so here we go. We're going to put some of the fish right here with the sauce in it right here. Remember when you're sharing food again, ladies, divas, and that, do not put too much food in the plate. If you put too much food in the plate, it's not going to look good. So we are not going to put a lot of food. If he needed more food when, I'm, when I give it to him, then we put some more food in it. But we don't want a lot of food in there in the plate to make it look all messy. So there I go. Put some of this right here. Right here. And the lettuce right there. Food. And we're going to put the candy yam right there. So we're going to set back our little thing right here because we want to take a picture of it and show how we make. Anyway, you have to do. You don't have to have no special way of making a design on your on on your um food. No special way because it's look really good. Over here doesn't have nothing, and over here has. Remember, each time you move something, you see there a little splatter. You cleanse it. Because we don't want it. So I'm going back on Nikki Stevenson. Nikki Stevenson, go learn to cook. <laughs> Nikki Stevenson, go learn to cook. But not go and drink no kale juice. But not go and eat no nasty food that you cook because he do not know you. So apparently, what I'm thinking right now, you're carrying a hatred feeling for that man because I don't see where I am stalking nobody. I'm here doing my cooking. You see all these things going on on the computer. I look at them. If I feel I don't have a penny and nickel or dime to put with it because I am not in those kind of lawless this behavior what people is going on to each his own. I cannot tell nobody to stop do what they're doing. So when you're talking about stalking, you are stalking Bap, his wife, and Jackie. That's what you are stalking. I am not stalking nobody. I don't have no time. I have too much things on my hand. I cook, I clean, 
Turn the camera over there, let them see what all my stuff and for my party is getting ready. Some of you can even not some of you people can even keep a party that's a cook even a chicken. A curry a chicken to get to serve to somebody. Because you don't know you, a lot of you don't have no place to accommodate people. I could accommodate people anywhere I live. I could cook and I could clean and I know I'm a good woman. I'm a woman God sent from where to help people in the time of when they need need to cook, to clean. Even the people that reach my age, they don't know how to carry themselves or how to dress themselves. I teach you all. I was coming on the street a while ago and I show Miguel a lady. She's a grown woman, big woman, look like she's in about uh, 65, 70 and that lady looks so good. This is what we are supposed to do. Pay attention to ourselves. Stop taking attention for you and go to other people and say in nasty way. A lot of you don't have no children yet. A lot of you don't have no children. Remember, and the things that you pray and talk about people is going to come back to haunt you and your children. Amen. Yeah? No, may I say amen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the candy I'm coming out the oven. Yes. So, Hot and nice. So here we have these things here. These are things to protect your place. It doesn't burn. It is silicone. So when we take our things from the oven, we put it right there. And we put our pot, our pan, whatever. Because you notice this is an, this is a marble top. So we don't want it to break up. So we put, um, I put this right here to put the pan in here because it's coming from a hot oven. Yeah. So here we goes. Here we goes. Turn the oven off. So my oven is off, and that's my candies in. And I'm gonna share a plate there. And this is a spoon I'm using because we doesn't want um to get too much of the juice, you call this a pervaded spoon, a spoon with a hole. So when we take out, we just take out exactly what we want. We don't want to take out too much of the liquid. Some people drink the liquid because it's very good. So, here I go. Put the yam, candy yam right there. There I go. So, there it is. Here we go. So right here, we have right here, we have corn over here, we have a little salad over here, and we have the fish right here. And right here in this plate here is for Miguel, we have the, the sweet corn, we have the candy yam, we have some of our tossed vegetables, and we have our fish with our escobiche and it right here. So we are finished, and we said we're gonna give ourselves, like it's a 20, 20 minutes meal, I don't know if it's more than 20 minutes or what, but we are through with what we was doing. <laughs> and I'm going to take some picture and I'm going to throw them up on my computer to show the people what Queen Olive is Yes, doing. people, the food looking delicious. Can't wait to eat. And see, I get some sorrel. Nice, good sorrel. Yes, beavers and then this is Queen Olive in the house. This food was made by Queen Olive right in front of Miguel. You can see the steam is coming from it. Right here we have over there fried fish, which is chalk, chalk. We have some tossed vegetable, we have some candy yam, and we have some sweet corn. We don't have to cook dumpling, banana, rice, everything for us to eat. We cook whatsoever our heart desire us to cook and whatsoever we need to cook and whatsoever we choose to eat, we make it. And yes, this is in my house in my kitchen i am cooking my food and i cook it in one in front of one of my my dan otherwise Indeed, one man. of my follower otherwise one of my friends from facebook he comes and whenever they come i give them food from scratch with a glass of sorrel wine 
I made it. When I'm talking, when I'm cooking, I'm talking my mouth spring water because I want to eat. So enjoy looking at it and enjoy. Imagine you are eating it. It is excellent. And that media is going to taste it right now and let you know how much he likes it. One love. Anyway, let's pray before we eat. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Heavenly Father, as I come before you this afternoon, we thank you for this food that you have prepared. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will multiply it. And I pray, O oh God, if anyone out there do not have anything to eat, that you will send someone with food for them to eat. And Father, as I pray, and I ask you, God, to bless his son and continue to bless Miss Olive and her family. And bless who are watching, cover them under your blood. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. So let me... Is it that? Is it for me? Is the fish over here for me? And... So, come by here for me. This is my hand. It is bad man. This is my hand. Yeah, this is here for me. I'm going to eat it, Miguel, right here. Yeah. So, let me see. It. So, my last word is one. Yeah, okay. So, so, Divas and Dan, this is Miss Queen Olive. Uh, this is Queen Olive. I finished doing my food and we're about to eat my food. And um, as I say, the shark was bought at the supermarket. Me and Miguel go ahead and buy it. Washed it. Soak it down in a little um, salt water. I doesn't use no lemon. I don't use no vinegar. I always tell people I don't use that to cook, which I really, really don't use it to cook. So I do that and we cook. So there Miguel is going to eat and also he has his salad right there and um, what we're saying, I'm saying right now, a lot of people likes to find fault with people and when they find the fault they cannot mend it. If you cannot mend the fault you don't say nothing about people. You have to can stop what is going on or do better. So if you can do better do not talk about it because food is the stuff of life. You have a lot of ladies do a lot of stuff to food to food and give it to man because they say they want to hold their man. Why? I don't know. You have to have you have to be a woman. You have to learn to cook, to clean, and you have to learn how to speak with your loved one with respect and love. If you don't have none of those things within you, might as well you don't try to be a woman. And people who out there like to so bring people down and put them down. You are not putting down me. You are not putting down who you are talking bad about. You are putting down yourself because people look at you like you are nothing. So Queen Olive is always reigning always raining and always getting up there more and people other people out there recognize me right now i have to go through my page right now and clean my page to get rid of some people sitting on the page who it's i nice. don't see well i'm gonna cut you mm -hmm. i don't know what you put in this food but yes <laughs> He said he don't know what to put in the food. He see what to put in the food, but as what Shabbat, yeah, yeah, at what Shabbat would say, my put my foot in it. So when you put your foot in it, means so that the food is well cooked and cooked and it's good and it's clean. You can see my place is always clean, always because after every cook, you has to clean everything you do. You wash your hand because. It's not me, myself, alone eating the food. I'm eating the food with other people. Yeah. Stop for a prayer, Grace. Yeah, he prayed. Um, Miguel prayed for the food. Yeah, he prayed. So while he was praying, I was sharing my food. So, you know, I'm going to go eat my food. So thanks to each and every one of my Deavers and my Dan who take the lovely time out for what they're doing to listen to what I, I was doing. And if there's anyone, my Jamaicans, them, who doesn't know how or other country know how to do the 
um candice yam you could inbox me and i'll tell you hi ingrid how you doing girl yes and remember my party is coming up on june 16th and remember everything is free only thing i ask for a donation you bring an envelope with a donation nothing is bigger than the other because it's what in your thought or what you feel like give it is well acceptable yes i do if anybody out of out of state like england london or where you at and you want to send something i do have a paypal account my paypal account is olive 587 at gmail.com or it has a cash cash um abs or what's however you want to send something if you feel like you feel like the queen olive is worthy of getting something for her birthday i didn't put down nothing out there so if there's anyone want to send me something i will appreciate it and also um everything is going to be free and i've been saying this all along that um my party is all about um an elegant affair and i said that i don't want no sneakers no hoodie and um you could wear jeans pants with a dress shirt depends on how you want to go but um I think, you know, I know I, there's a lot of people who want to come, but probably they might say, because I don't want to wear no sneakers. Well, I don't know. If you come with the sneakers, I'm not going to turn you back. But I keep telling you, it's an elegant affair. I want to enjoy myself. I'm on celebrating my 60th birthday. And I think I'm worthy of that who's come to celebrate my birthday with me. I doesn't want no one to come to my birthday to make a problem there. I don't want no one to come to my birthday to take no picture to send anywhere. Because when I do my birthday, it's going to up on YouTube. It's going to be on, on the Facebook. So no one don't have to come and say they're going to take picture to send to Tom, Dick and hurry look at our house should dress something i'm gonna dress anyhow i want to dress because it's my special day so people we have to learn to have respect for ourselves if you don't respect yourself you can respect nobody yes go watch me on facebook go watch me on instagram go watch me on youtube i always over those page over there but i doesn't go and page to page and make um and whatsoever people say i watch them i have nothing to put in it because if you just say simple little thing they're gonna tell you how many string you was made with and how you dance and who you sleep with people anybody on a want to sleep with a phone of business because what we have done in life is not god is not we are man and earth is going to judge us his god is going to judge you for the things that we have done so wherever you want to do or wherever you want to go on anything you choose to do what you want do it because we cannot make your life run run, run our life for you so all the people them um, like amari hmm? oh you want more you could get more <coughs> Yeah, you want more, you could get more because it's there for you to eat. Amari, good, man. Amari, stop making people business be your problem because you're only bringing yourself down right, to the lowest level. You're bringing yourself down to nobody. You say you're going into music, go stick to your music if you want to do your music. Don't keep troubling people. <laughs> Troubling people is not going to make you no better. I heard you said if you are um, a lot of place wanted you to, um, wanted you, but because of your bad behavior on the computer and you're still doing it because it on the computer calling me names. Amari, I don't have no time to smell because I'm a petite. Look at me. I'm not fat. So you have to take your time out and go see a gynecology or the gynecologist or whatsoever because you're having a lot of fe um, feminine problem. You are smelling yourself. Your clothes smell. Your coochie is smell. You need to go and take care of yourself and stop telling people because so long as you never come to me and touch me and smell and nobody comes around me ever tell me not even my mouth nothing dr love can't tell it dr love when he comes to my house and he hugged me he didn't smell my hair he said he sit and watch me cook my food and he eat my food because my food was clean you understand me so if you don't smell nobody stop ladies and stop tell ladies other ladies about yourself because any lady tell another lady go and see the guy in the college because something is going on with your feminine part so ladies divas and dan this is queen olive big up to all the people in canada north carolina south carolina um massachusetts all the people in the whole 
51 states in United States of America. Big up all my Guyanese them. Big up all my Guyanese friends them. Although my Guyanese friends them, I go amongst them. Me can't do life because the majority of them are cheaters. They left wife home or husband home. I'm out there doing so. I'm not going to do no lives around them when I go because I don't want to get no problem. Big up all me American. God blessed America. We say God blessed America. So big up to the American Trinidad and Bajan, St. Lucia. Big up to all the people who take the time out to watch my show. Goodbye. See you later. If I feel to come on later, see you again. Let, let you see my face, my beautiful face now, people. Yes. This is Queen Olive. Mm -hmm. I love myself so much. There's no one else in this world I could love but me, myself. Because I know I'm a beautiful woman. Yeah, and I believe in love and I believe kindness from my heart. I don't make things people bother me. I easily forgive because I am not I have no storage storeroom in my heart and I do not have a storage in my house. That girl named Pretty Gal, my storage me store the thing them for send come get your children them who need things. Me not store nothing in it for nobody else and the people them who want things. I have a extra room which i store my thing and if my you see in my house where i have stuff in there you don't worry about my storage and nikki remember me tell you you're wasting all your precious time that kale juice you gotta drink that that for yourself you will never get back drinking you are looking for a man and is the worst person but mouth now have no man as a mouth can tame him very disrespectful he take Anything come to him out and tell anybody. So you can run going and think that so you're going to be first lady for him and he's not going to curse you. Come on. When Bob head chip, Bob say, me have two years old. And sometimes some people get another extra hole. Him not get one. It's two extra hole him having that is. So if you run and look for something, are you want thing there? You want to be with him? You're late. You go and get more than what other people get. Because furthermore, you're not Jamaican. Keep your Canadian self still and relax your mouth. Tame your mouth and leave people business alone. Nobody's stalking man. He know who him talk stalking him. He know when him talk about stalk, he know what he's talking about. He know. He have two women, him wife and him, and him, and him um, producer or whatsoever where she is. So go between the line there and see. And probably the next madu man. Amari, I don't have no time. So when not talk about me at stock, I'm going to go check back again. Come in and know what, 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 what I'm going to stock, who I'm going to stock, why I'm going to stock. You know, don't say I'm a flexible, I'm a young, I'm a look good. Anyway, me I go big up my mother. See my mother picture there. Big up Mama Phyllis. Yeah, that's my mother. Big up my mother. Who died and gone? Mama. Rest in peace. Sleep in peace. Big up to my family. My children and my birthday is coming on June the 11th. That's my birthday. But I'm celebrating it on the 16th of the month where I want my friends and everybody to come and celebrate with me. Eat, drink and have a wonderful time. Chit chat. And say, Olive, you're a beautiful woman and you look good for your age. Thank you. My children, my four children, my nine grandkids. And my one great sisters and brother, Queen Olive. This is me. I'm a good semester finish. Yeah. Miguel, so I turn off now, Miguel, where you want to tell him? Yeah, but that's the can. <laughs> but you tell them nice one. Yeah, so you're going to learn to do that. Hmm? You're going to learn to do it? It's good. Yeah, you have to go give me your recipe. Mm -hmm. I'm eating now. Thank you, Heather. I love you more. Now, Nicolette, make up yourself, Karen. People, me can't go no more. Belly full. Sorry. <laughs> Fish. Sweet yam. Mm. And you, did you eat this? Mm -hmm. Did you eat it? Mm -hmm. Did you eat it? Yeah, yeah. Let's practice, yeah. Oh, these are head the food. Goodbye. Love you all. Mm -hmm. One love.